House Speaker Mike Johnson led dozens of fellow House Republicans on a trip to the southern border today. They are demanding sweeping immigration policy changes in exchange for approving more economic and military aid to Ukraine. Senate negotiators here in Washington are working toward a bipartisan deal on that very issue. CBS News congressional correspondent Nicole Killian joins us now from Capitol Hill. Nicole, as best as you can, catch us up on where those Senate negotiations currently reside. Well, you know, they are still meeting and talking. Actually, some of the Senate negotiators have been coming here to Capitol Hill after meeting virtually over the holiday recess. Of course, the Senate not officially back in session until next week. But Leader Chuck Schumer said today that they are making progress. But that this is hard. This is hard work. That is also uh, something that we heard from one of the Democratic negotiators, Chris Murphy, earlier this week. But uh, the leader did express optimism that they could try to find some type of bipartisan solution, although he did take aim at the speaker who took a trip to the border earlier today. Take a listen. It's very nice that they have a trip to the border, but the only way to solve this is here working in a bipartisan way with Senate Republicans, Senate Democrats, and House Democrats to get it done, period. And I hope the speaker will realize that if he wants to solve the problem on the border. So the leader appearing to take a bit of a dig there at Speaker Mike Johnson, who led that contingent of House Republicans down to Eagle Pass, Texas today, saying, look, the work needs to be done here. It's nice that you can take a trip, but ultimately uh, the solution has to come from both chambers of Congress. And, you know, he did make clear that particularly around this issue of H.R. 2, which Speaker Johnson emphasized during his trip today, that is a hardline uh, immigration package that passed the House uh, earlier uh, last year that Speaker Johnson and many House Republicans have been advocating for. Uh, Leader Schumer says, you know, if Republicans continue to cling to that, then it's going to be very hard to strike a compromise. Nicole, it could be said that it was a photo op down at Eagle Pass, but also that set of pictures is part of a broader Republican effort on the House side, at least, to intensify the political pressure on the Biden administration to make some policy concessions. In that spirit, let's listen to the speaker at his trip to Eagle Pass, Texas today. It is an unmitigated disaster, a catastrophe. And what's more tragic is that it's a disaster of the president's own design. And Nicole, that speaks to something else that's percolating on Capitol Hill. The House wants to begin impeachment proceedings against the DHS secretary, Alejandro Mayorkas, true? Yeah, that is correct. And look, as you mentioned, in terms of Speaker Johnson's trip to the border today, uh, it was designed to do that, really put pressure on the administration to do something about uh, this problem of, you know, migrants coming across the border in record numbers. And, uh, you know, in terms of these potential impeachment proceedings, we learned today from the House Homeland Security uh, Committee that they intend to hold their first impeachment hearing against Secretary Mayorkas next Wednesday, January. 10th. And this comes after the committee has done a year-long investigation. In fact, Homeland Security Chairman Mark Green was also there in Eagle Pass and talked about how he believes Secretary Mayorkas has failed. And so this is about taking action to hold him accountable. But one must ask, because Secretary Mayorkas is also involved in some of these border negotiations, you know, how is that going to work, uh, particularly uh, if these impeachment proceedings proceed? Can they really work out an agreement in good faith. And granted, uh, those border talks are mostly happening on the Senate side, but it will need that buy-in from the House. So this is going to be a very uh, tricky and interesting period uh, going forward, uh, both in the House and Senate. Tricky and interesting indeed, Nicole. And is it your sense as you talk to the Senate negotiators that when they look at the possible contours of a deal, their assumption is if they reach a deal that gets a significant majority in the Senate, that when it gets to the House, even if House Republican hardliners vote against it, they can rely on enough House Democratic votes to get it across the finish line. Is that their working assumption? Well, that is certainly one assumption that's out there. But keep in mind, you know, we have heard uh, during some of these negotiations some concerns from progressives, uh, particularly uh, with respect to uh, the White House's uh, initial offer a couple of weeks back where uh, they were willing to do more in terms of issues of uh, deportation uh, and detention. 
uh, with respect to asylum seekers, and that was something that was concerning to progressives who felt like the White House might be giving away too much here. So it still will be kind of some delegate negotiations to make sure that they can keep Democrats on board, not only in the Senate, but certainly in the House, if they need that buy-in as well. Um, so that is why we heard Leader Schumer earlier today say, you know, this is very hard. This is very difficult work. And he also didn't rule out potentially coupling this national security supplemental together with a government funding package, because we know that's the other big issue uh, that both the House and Senate have to resolve within the next two weeks. And just to help us on that, Nicole, very quickly remind our audience of the two deadlines on government funding in January and February. So you'll recall that the House passed and the Senate, you know, passed this laddered uh, CR or continuing resolution where one tranche of government funding is going to run out January 19th without congressional action. A second batch will run out February 2nd. Uh, the hope in doing that was that they could get all 12 of their appropriations bills passed by those two deadlines. But uh, that has been elusive as far as a deal, although Speaker Johnson did uh, talk about that at the border today, saying that he has been working in good faith with both the White House and the Senate uh, and is hopeful that they can reach some type of agreement. So that remains to be seen, although we also heard from some Republicans today who uh, suggested that they're OK with the government potentially shutting down. For us tonight on Capitol Hill, Nicole Killian, thanks so very much.